We just got back from a ride. I thought this would be a great time to show you how I have the tack room in my trailer set up. Welcome to John Heron Horses. As you can see, it's pretty crowded in there. Let me get the saddles and saddle pads out and I'll show you just how much crap I have stuffed inside. There, that should give us a little bit of room to work. One of the most important things to have is an emergency contact list. This is right inside the front door and has all the important numbers. We also have a chart with all the vital statistics for a normal horse. I need to know these in case of an emergency. Our trailer is equipped with a small storage area that has three shelves on it. First shelf has got no paper, gloves, a little tape, horse treats. There's one shelf that has first aid equipment that's ready, easy to get. And the last shelf has some health and toiletries for cleaning up. We also have a first aid kit. And in this first aid kit, we have a stethoscope. We have a thermometer. We have some gauze. Of course, gotta have a flashlight everywhere just in case you need one a big syringe. I keep a tube of banamine just for emergencies. More rolled gauze. I don't think you can have too much of this in a, in a first aid kit. A roll of tape. Some sterile saline solution. This is a suture kit and it's got some matches, a lighter, some scissors in there. The uh, animal lintex bandaging material, you soak this in water and it's uh, supposed to be, and it's very healing. They make a poultice. And this, this one uh, really absorbs a lot of blood if you have a if you have something that's bleeding profusely you can wrap it with that of course you have to have some vet wrap and then I have another little first aid kit I'm trying to protect this stuff from the weather and in this kit of course I've got to have more gauze you can never have too much of this stuff right some sterile pads and more vet wrap you never have too much of that stuff right some hydrocortisone cream and some latex gloves. Okay, light's a bitch in here. I'm not sure how exactly this is going to work, but on the left side as you walk in on my trailer, we've got the uh, all the tack and our grooming bags. Then we've got our uh, muck rake our bridles and ropes. On this side got an extra bridle, bucket, some comfortable chairs to sit in, the main necessity, the ice chest for beer. We have some tack cleaning supplies, toolbox. We have a uh, extension cord, a couple of safety vests. And this is one of those uh, triangle fluorescent things you put down if you uh, break down on the side of the road. That just unfolds. I talked to an expert in trailer safety and she told me the biggest danger was that when you pull off the side of the road was getting out of your truck and going to check out your trailer. And then on this side we have a long lunge line, our blocker tie rings, and saddlebags, a couple of training aids, Renee's boots. Got the trailer jack, Spare tire. Inside that box we have a lug wrench, a couple of tarps. That's how I set up the tack room in my trailer. If you have some nifty tips or tricks, please leave them in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. And if you want to see more of these videos, hit subscribe. I hope to see you out on the trail one day. 
Until next time, go have some fun with your horses. Bye-bye, everybody.